It's the JCP Swansea Half Marathon. We're at Morgan's Hotel, right on the finish line, where we have a load of runners who are making their way across the finish line as we speak. Now, there are all kinds of people who are running for charity for today, and we have Roz. Now, Roz, there's a, word, there's a swear word on your T-shirt. I don't like to say anything, but on, on there, that, that's, that's, that's a rude word, but there's a good reason for that, isn't it? Tell us, what, first of all, what does that say? Yeah, so it says one bloody drop, but um, it's not trying to swear. It's actually in relation to the fact that it's a diabetes charity that we're running for, so obviously See, we have to check our blood sugars quite regularly, so it's a bit of a play on words. So you have people who are suffering from type 1 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes, yes. Yeah. So um, all of the people that are running in the group today have type 1 diabetes. Some of them on daily injections, and many of them on an insulin pump, like I myself. And as part of this run today, we're trying to break a world record um, to have the most number of people with type 1 diabetes in, a, in one race together running as a collective. And what is that world record? Well, previously it's only about 26, but um, today we've got just over 60 runners running... Um, and as part of that run, they've also um, part of some research so that are all running with a bit of tech on the back of their arm. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, right. I see. Which is measuring their blood sugars and things as well. So it's, they're also running a, in a bit of research as well, which is, has never been done. Now, for people who've got type 1 di- uh, diabetes, it, it's, a, it's a tough thing to do. People who have who are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, running can really help with that, can't it? Yeah, uh, definitely. For type 2 diabetes, it definitely can help in terms of lifestyle. But one of the things it actually does help with is type 1 in terms of control. Exercise for us is just as important as it is for anybody else. So, And it can really help with our blood glucose control. So that's one of the things we're trying to show is that just because you have type 1 diabetes and there are challenges, they're not barriers that you can't overcome. How old are they? Um, we've got a range of runners today, so they're obviously all, all adults, but um, we've got some people who are running their first run. Um, one of the, the guy who set it up is a guy called Paul Coker, who organised this, and last year he ran uh, 40 half marathons to celebrate having type 1 diabetes for 40 years. Wow. So um, to follow that up, he decided, well, let's get a group of us together and run. So uh, he's run quite a few marathons, but then we've also got a couple of people. There's a guy called Pete Davis in the group, um, who's had diabetes for over 60 years, has climbed Kilimanjaro and mountains in Peru. So, but this this is his first half marathon, so this is a bit of a challenge in the sun today. It's a fantastic effort. Do you know who's going to be coming across the finish line first? Oh, I don't know. It's a bit, bit, of, bit of a gamble. We're not sure who's going to come across. I think, to be honest, the main thing is that they want to run together. So a lot of them are determined to stick together as a group and, and run across, but there's a couple of competitive people in there, so it would be well, interesting to see. I have to say, I'm at most respectful because it is very warm out there. And if you want more details, it's onebloodydrop.com yeah. is the website. Yeah, so onebloodydrop.com has got information about... Um, diabetes and people doing all different types of sports from running but also cycling and many other sports and also we're, we're linked with Diabetes UK Cymru as well and who are also part of this. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. And well done on getting the world record because yes. obviously that's done now when you've got 60 people. Thank you very much. We're